notes again? Okay. All right. You're going on YouTube. So. And I'm going on YouTube. All right, this is the anterior of the heart right here, okay, and, and one of the first things to look for is this anterior interventricular sulcus. It runs right down through the center. It's going to divide your two ventricles, your right ventricle from your left ventricle. In the posterior, if you flip it over, you have this coronary sulcus that runs right through here, okay, and that's where you'll find your coronary sinus that carries the deoxygenated blood okay, from the heart. The ventricles are below the atria are above that coronary sulcus there. Right. Anterior, again, anterior perspective. You have the auricles, respectively your uh, right auricle and your left auricle. They kind of look like little cauliflower ears. Yeah. You guys can interact if you like to. <laughs> Don't want to mess up the video. Take the pressure off here. <laughs> All right. This is uh, the superior vena cava coming down like that. You can see where the actual probe is inserted is the superior vena cava. Okay, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it up like a book, so I'm going to slowly open it up. Now, this is that superior vena cava coming down, just like that. Okay, This is the right side of the heart. This is part of your right atria, right there. And this is the other part of your right atria. You can see that smooth pectinate muscle. Okay, that makes up the atria. If you go inside the atria, can you see inside there? Mm -hmm. Alright, you'll see two holes. Alright, the lower one, right down here, this lower one is actually the opening to the coronary sinus. Okay, if you look in the back, you can see it's right there here. And this one up on top, right there, you see that one? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. This one up here is actually the inferior vena cava. So you have those two openings there. All right. This is all pectinate muscle. Blood flows down from the right atrium. It's going to go through your tricuspid. Remember, tri before you. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's your one of your cusps right there. All right. There's another cusp right here. That's your third cusp right there. Okay, so those are the three cusps. Now, they're anchored by what are called chordae tendini, right there. And those uh, chordae actually go into the papillary muscles, which are right here. Open that up. This is actually the right ventricle, and you can see this muscle is actually called trabeculae carnae in the ventricle right there. Okay. Very thick septum, that's your septum right there, ventricular septum. That's where your bundle of his and your bundle uh, branches come down through. Now, let's take a look at this side. Right. This is still the right ventricle, and the way you can tell is because of this moderator band. Can I see that? Sure, absolutely. Gotcha. And that just gives it stability? Correct. Blood comes in through the uh, right ventricle, and the increase in pressure causes this. Uh, a tricuspid valve to slam, slam shut. It's a one-way valve, so it prevents the uh, prolapsing of the cordi. Blood comes up then, it has nowhere else to go. And it's going to come up through this pulmonary trunk right here. So that's the pulmonary trunk. Now, I think this was the one we cut, but um, this is your pulmonic semilunar valve. A little tissue right there. Okay, there's your pulmonary trunk. Carrying deoxygenated blood, goes to the lungs, becomes oxygenated, okay, comes back, comes back through pulmonary oh, veins. <laughs> <Gosh, yes. laughs> We're exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's gonna come back and, and your pulmonary veins are gonna empty in. There's one right there. Okay. Left atrium. Okay. This is your, your left auricle right there. And then if I open it, just like a book, slowly there. Okay. You can see it coming right down through here. Also see it. Okay, that's the that's gonna be your left atrium right inside here. Okay. So blood's coming in now, comes down, comes down through here, and it's gonna come down through the mitral valve. So that's part of that mitral valve right there. Or bicuspid. Mm hmm or bicuspid. And that's part of it right there too. The cordi 
papillary muscle. You can really see, um, I'll show you this one here, you can really see that trabeculae carne. Mm -hmm. like it's pumpy. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like uh, those trabeculae in the spongy bone. Right. Okay. Now, the difference here is that when blood uh, comes up, it has nowhere to go, so it's forced back up. And this is actually, this opening right here is the actual opening to the aorta. That's really good. Look at that. Huh? Show me. Okay. Right there? Yeah. Since you've got gloves on, just hold that for a second. Okay. Just uh, kind of hold it up on it. There you go. All right. Now, these right, just hold, <laughs> hold <laughs> still. <laughs> okay. These right here are your aortic semilunar valves. Oh. Okay. That there one. There you go. Hold still. Okay. And that one right there. <laughs> your aortic semilunar valves. Right. Okay. Now. One other thing here. Let me take that for just a second. Okay. It's on the other side there. Let's see if I can see. Sometimes you can see. There they are. Okay. Inside there, it's really hard to see but where the probe is. Ah. Flip down on me. There we go. Thanks. That opening right there, see that dark space right there? Uh -huh. That's the opening to your coronary arteries. Uh -huh. It's right past your aortic semilunar valve. There's one on this side as well. Comes up through the aorta. Okay. And then it's going to come out through the brachiocephalic uh, and then through the ascending aortic arch right there. And then it'll come around, and then you'll also have the left common carotid and the uh, left subclavian. Which are not pictured, right. and which you're not going to be tested over. Okay. The missing, like uh, the missing right. dotted line. <laughs> and like that's it. it.